My name is Dr. Tom Rafrano and coming to you from the Palm Beach Gardens, Alves Natural Medicine Clinic. And we're going to talk to you about three hidden causes for digestive issues today. So it's one of the most common things that patients have when they come in are digestive problems. Almost, It seems like almost everyone that comes in has some sort of abdominal pain, gas, constipation, bloating, indigestion, diarrhea, na nausea. I mean, it's just almost, it's just so rampant these days. And a lot of people are wondering, well, why do they have it? I mean, they go to this doctor and that doctor and tell them all these symptoms they're having and they can have them for months, if not years. And they typically will get an endoscopy, colonoscopy, and just tell them, well, you just need to take this medication and, you know, you have IBS, irritable bowel syndrome, which doesn't really, it's not really a disease in and of itself. It's just telling you what you already know. You have an irritable bowel. But there are actually causes. Well, what we like to do is find out exactly what's causing these issues so that we can then provide solutions so that you can get better. So the, out of the three things, one, number one, we see our food sensitivities or allergies can cause digestive issues. Gas, bloating, indigestion, abdominal pain, diarrhea, constipation, all of these and more. And th there's a couple of ways to find out what you're sensitive to. One is we could do blood testing for allergies and food sensitivities. There are labs we do that can test 100 or 200 different foods. And then secondly are um, certain types of diets, elimination diets, things like that. I, I came up with a diet I call the free diet because it's free of all the common allergens, gluten, grains, yeast, soy, dairy, sugar, corn, and on and on. So it's free of those and it also allows you to become free of digestive issues and pain and inflammation and so that's what we use um, as well as an alternative to testing. So those are the two different ways. Um, I mean, it just give an example um, of a story. A patient recently, 35-year-old woman, came in and had all, all those symptoms I mentioned, just um, severe abdominal pain, gas, bloating, diarrhea, um, indigestion, and this had started you know, she had having issues all, you know, here and there all along, but nothing major, but it started after um, a weekend of celebrating um, pizza, cake, wine, beer, um, and then after that, it just was severe, like severe pain, um, actually diagnosed with ulcerative colitis, that's how bad it was, but we, um, you know, after doing some testing and find out, finding out what was causing it, which she was truly sensitive to, in her case, um, dairy, gluten, yeast. Um, th th those are the three main things. And um, getting her off those and putting her in the free diet and certain supplements to help her gut heal, it completely cleared up. So she's fine. So food allergies or sensitivities are one, huge hidden cause of digestive issues. And secondly are enzyme, digestive enzyme deficiencies. So your stomach will, produces a normal amount, of, it should produce a normal amount of enzymes to break down your foods, hydrochloric acid being the main one. And if you have a deficiency of this, you tend to get bloated after you eat. So your stomach will just trying to get really large and bloated. Some women tell me they feel like they're eight or nine months pregnant after they eat. And it's not even like they're eating a lot. But so what happens if there's a lack of enzymes in the stomach, the food just sits there and kind of swells and expands and then it can even cause uh, acid reflux come up. So instead of taking, so what they typically, prescriber recommend is 
taking acid blocking drugs, either prescription or over the counter, and you can feel better temporarily. However, it doesn't take away the problem. It doesn't fix the problem or correct really anything. Um, so what we do is find out if that's a cause, then we can prescribe some um, stomach enzymes. We use a product that I like a whole lot called Gastrexyme, which contains HCL and other enzymes for to break down the food in the stomach so that you can then absorb and digest the food and eliminate the bloating. So that's a huge um, cause there is enzyme deficiencies. And recently I had a woman in her 60s who was on prescription acid blocking drugs um, you know, for many years. And I don't know if you've seen in the news lately all the side effects long term they're talking about these including dementia and osteoporosis, bone fractures, and on and on from long-term use of acid blocking drugs. Um, so in her case, put her on the free diet, some other supplements, some stomach enzymes, the gastric enzyme I was telling you about that we have here at the Natural Medicine Clinic. And within a couple of weeks, I mean, it took, her stomach cleared up, her symptoms cleared up. She was off. She didn't need to take the medication anymore. So that's what we do is look for to address root causes to clear up the underlying problem instead of just covering it up with medications for symptom relief. So, and then thirdly, our pathogens. Um, pathogens meaning, for instance, parasites, yeast, or bacterial overgrowth. And we just had a case uh, recently of a 12-year-old boy who just all of a sudden started getting nausea, um, loss of appetite, and constipation, bloatedness. Um, he started losing weight. He, he just, just didn't want to eat, and they, oh, he was very fatigued. So after, um, you know, he'd been to the pediatrician and um, other specialists, not really coming up with anything. We did some um, extensive, more extensive lab testing and stool testing, and actually what, what it turned out, he, he did have a parasite and yeast overgrowth, both. So after, you know, putting him on certain supplements, some um, different uh, herbal remedies to help clear that up and, you know, diet, you know, he, he got better within a matter of a few short weeks. Um, he started eating normally again and something started clearing up, gaining weight. So th these are just some of the things that uh, we look for when, when someone comes in with digestive issues. Again, food sensitivities, enzyme deficiencies, and pathogens, be it yeast, parasites, or bacterial overgrowth. And in each case, there's different protocols we use to clear these up. So in future um, talks, I can go over those into more specifically, like different protocols we use. And if you have any questions or want uh, other topics or things to expand on in, in future talks, just make the comments uh, below or send me a message and be happy to uh, help you out in any of those areas. So thanks for uh, watching today, and we'll see you next time.